standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground Hello everyone and welcome back As I shared in my last vlog that we were moving location and a lot has happened so far We are now in the city of Destiny Vizag and are still in the process of settling in This current space is a temporary self assessed setup and while everything is new at the moment the only constant for me is home making Space might be new but the attempt to make this space livable and lovable remains the same The juggling through this transition is indeed demanding but with a good exercise routine and the power of whey protein i stay active and energetic and mwise by mcure is my recent pick to support my overall health and wellness as it is loaded with 13 powerful herbal extracts that help every mom to maintain a good health where the blend of guduchi licorice ginger and basil extract supports healthy digestion and gut health the asilora cherry extract moringa and amla extract contributes to healthy skin and hair growth and support the immunity system it also has curcumin extract and basil leaves powder to help restore energy and preserve hormonal balance it is so easy to include embys in your daily routine just a scoop of this powder mixed with water milk or your favorite smoothie and you are good to go so whether you are a new mom or a mom of toddler like me I highly recommend giving postnatal whey protein powder a try. It's a quick and convenient way to nourish your body and provide it with the fuel it needs to keep up with the demands of motherhood. This transition has taught me a lot of things which I decided to share with you all during this entire vlog. Shifting to all together a new city with two young kids and a truck load of luggage is not easy. But instead of just focusing on hardships, I was constantly pushing myself to look for the silver linings. There is no kitchen in this setup and all our meals are out. With Dhere, I'm just touching the basics with fruits and milk for breakfast. Karthik's presence is a godsend and the biggest respite for me at the moment. As I said earlier, we don't have a home right now, but homemaking never stops. Since it's a temporary self-assessed space, as soon as the kids are up, I do the entire cleaning of the house, starting with making the bed. Of course, I miss home, but these small homemaking tasks makes me feel at home. I feel home is not really the space but the actual feeling that we give to any space how we treat every corner how we keep up with the space and basically the perspective with which we nurture any space karthik went out to get some fruits and basic groceries and while he was away i will spend some time cleaning all the table tops i have opened our minimum luggage and i've given them some dedicated space here and there in a small setup like this things clutter up so frequently especially at the table tops that the major cleaning requires keeping things back at their places The other silver lining of this change is that since there is nothing to pay extra attention to I get a lot of time to take care of my kids and myself. I'm really taking this time as a break from mundane home management. To be very honest, the other day I was talking to my sister and told her that it is quite surprising to realize that kitchen consumes 80% of your day. No kitchen means no fridge, no pantry, 
no kitchen cleaning no meal planning or prepping and all this contributes to the major responsibilities of any homemaker in a day so truth be told even without a home i am still in a better position to manage things easily with kids kids school admissions are done and that was a major tick off as the classes will start by next week we will then be moving into a small service apartment and keep our house hunting on while these basic needs get ticked off i am indulging in activities that become luxury when the house is fully operational i am focusing on self care exercising reading a bit and enjoying my favorite shows on tv which i usually crave when the whole house responsibilities come in kartik came back with some fruits and coconut water and i took a small break before starting to clean the entire house i enjoy cleaning a lot and i find it very therapeutic although i do rely on house help for basic cleaning but once a week i prefer to do extra cleaning myself considering kids are small and the cleaner the space the better it is for them here i don't have any help at the moment so i put kids on tv and quickly clean the floor this house is very small to clean so it just takes 15 minutes of total time to sweep and mop this house Once the cleaning gets done, everyone gets ready, and by that time, it's usually our lunch time. We go out for lunch, and kids sleep after coming back home. After coming back from lunch, when kids are sleeping, I prefer not to sleep and do the remaining household chores instead. More than physical home making is a constant mental cycle. When we are at home, the mind stays occupied with the zillion of houseworks lying around, and when we are away from home, the mind still revolves around the home concerns. So to rest these thoughts, I keep myself busy and engage in one or the other activities throughout the day. Do you also feel the same? Do share your thoughts in the comment section below. While I was in Mumbai I did a little shopping for myself so thought of sharing the same with you all since a lot of you ask me about my garment Starting with this beautiful cord set This is my first ever cord set purchase and I instantly fell in love with it It's perfect for those chill outings on hot summer days The top is loose fitting and airy and the bottom comes with parallel pants with slit on the sides the top also has a irregular hemline which is short from front but longer from the back the mustard yellow color is an added bonus and gives a very chic feeling to the attire the cord set comes with a simple and minimal border print and the fabric has a linen kind of texture it is a cotton blend yet very cool and lightweight to wear I can't wait to accessorize it in different ways. The next is this kaftan suit set and the kaftan stitching just wowed me. It comes with a gota lining and a gold print pattern all over. I really like the floral print and the color contrast on this dress. It is available in two different colors to choose from and the fabric is again a cotton blend the lower comes with pants in a similar color contrasting print and is true to the size from the waistline again a loose fitting summer friendly yet versatile set that can be worn for simple occasions or can be glamorized with nice accessories for special events the next set is a simple yet different cotton suit set This one is 100% cotton and extremely comfortable fabric to wear. It is good for regular wear, day-to-day -day office or college wear or even apt for feeding moms since it has a button-down slit in the front. I just love the baby pink color with big floral prints on this dress. The fabric material is so lightweight and soft on the skin 
that you won't even feel it i also love the overall fitting of the kurta it comes with parallel pants of the same print and fabric that separates it from the normal suit styles i have shared the link of all these dresses in the description box below for you to check you can even go and check in my amazon store to find all the garments that i have linked there while the kids are sleeping i'll also finish off some of my work like editing checking and replying to mails etc i am thankful to you all for watching my vlogs and giving me this platform to work ruthvi knows it's my work time and she feels a little hesitant to disturb me while i'm working as i mentioned ruthvi's support even in these small ways feels very pleasing ruthvi has been a great help all this time unlike last time she's settling into the change so smoothly that it motivates me a lot we as adults get used to our comfort zone and start fearing the change and then we complain about the monotony so now when life is giving me a change i want to experience it with a positive mindset and enjoy this process and alongside update my learnings rather than complain about it <laughs> Once the hero wakes up, it's almost evening time, and we usually take kids out for a drive to the city. After that, for the evening snacks, since I can't cook anything, I cut some fruits for the kids before leaving. And alongside, Karthik makes me a tea, and I enjoy our evening tea. We, of course, have some different agendas in life at the moment. From one perspective, I feel that. There is so much struggle for shifting, moving and settling in. But then I remind myself what my dad used to tell me that everyone is going through their own struggles. The deeper you see, the more intense it gets. So whenever you feel burdened, instead of digging deep into your own problems, pull yourself back and have a bigger picture. Look around and you'll find people who are not privileged with even basic needs in life. and you will start noticing a sudden mindset shift the problem that looked so intense start looking like a passing wave having a bigger picture of problems even helps in finding a better solution and taming your brain for a calmer self i'm sure this passing wave will also settle in well sooner than later we'll move into the new house and start catching up on our daily routines but right now getting timely food shelter and togetherness of family is more than enough for a joyful day i hope you like this video and if you did don't forget to subscribe to the channel join me on instagram for some daily life updates and share your thoughts and comments in the comment section below and i'll see you in my next vlog maybe in another different setup but until then stay tuned and stay connected